for all the celebration of this new look England side, Wednesday night's 2-1 semi-final defeat by Croatia was characterized by an old failing, a refusal to adjust tactics to nullify the strength of the opposition and, more specifically, an insistence upon leaving two men up front while being overrun in midfield. England started excellently, but their tactical inflexibility cost them a place in Sunday's final. Gareth Southgate's highly unusual 3-3-2-2 formation is essentially defined by two major features which both contributed to England's impressive first-half performance. The first is the presence of both Deli Alley and Jesse Lingard, natural number 10s fielded in conventional midfield roles and allowed to attack simultaneously and swap passes between the lines. On three occasions in the first half, Ali and Lingard combined dangerously in behind the Croatia midfield. The first example came inside three minutes, when Lingard found Ali, he was bundled over by Luka Modric, and Kieran Trippier expertly curled home the free kick. Croatia exposed England's lack of width and midfield strength www.sharemytactics.com The second occasion came after half an hour, when Ellie found Lingard, who poked the ball through to Harry Kane, who might have squared to Raheem Sterling, but instead had two attempts on goal, the second hitting the post. The assistant referee eventually wrongly flagged for offside, but a VAR check would have seen the goal awarded, and this was England's best opportunity to put the game to bed. The third occasion, meanwhile, came five minutes later, when a square pass from Ali found Lingard in space on the edge of the box. Lingard took his time, picked his spot, and curled the ball well wide. England and Croatian fans pose in red square ahead of the match fans in the stands before the semi-final Mario Mandzukic in action with John Stone's Raheem Sterling battles for the ball Kieran Trippier of England celebrates England's Jordan Pickford makes a save from Croatia's Ivan Perisic England's Kieran Trippier celebrates scoring Kieran Trippier after the first goal of the game Croatia goalkeeper Daniel Subasic dives Jordan Pickford celebrates England's Kieran Trippier celebrates scoring their first goal with Harry Kane Mario Mandzukic in action with John Stone's England Jordan Pickford in action with Croatia's Andy Rubic Daniel Subasic of Croatia makes a save on Harry Kane of England Croatia attempt to fight back Kyle Walker goes for the head Jordan Pickford of England collides with Andy Rubic of Croatia Jordan Pickford takes a stroll Daniel Subasic of Croatia makes a save on Harry Kane of England referee Q-Nate Kacker talks to Kyle Walker England's Ashley Young takes a throw Kyle Walker and John Stones in action with Croatia's Domagoj Vita England's Raheem Sterling in action with Croatia's Ivan Rakitic Croatia's Ivan Rakitic in action with England's Kyle Walker Jordan Pickford of England during the 2018 FIFA World Cup Russia semi -final. Final match between England and Croatia at Luzhniki Stadium Croatia Team Group Top row, left to right Dejan Lovren, Ivan Skrinic, Mario Mandzukic, Antti Rebic, Daniel Subasic and Ivan Perisic Bottom row, left to right, Marcelo Brozovic, Domagoj Vita, Ivan Rakitic, Sim Versalco and Luka Modric General view inside the stadium Ivan Rakitic of Croatia confronts referee Q-Nate Herman of the Football Association Greg Clark, Prime Minister of Russia Dmitry Medvedev and FIFA President Johnny Infantino during the match Ivan Rakitic of Croatia and Luka Modric of Croatia confront referee Q-Nate Kakar fans in Millennium Square, leads Zlatko Dalek, head coach of Croatia looks on Croatia's Luka Modric at halftime Luka Modric concerned for Croatia. Croatia Ivan Rakitic of Croatia confronts referee television monitors inside the stadium Harry Kane in action with Ivan Strinic Marcelo Brozovic heads at England's Kyle Walker sit on the floor Kyle Walker of England lies on the pitch injured Harry Kane in action with Croatia's Marcelo Brozovic and Ivan Rakitic England's Harry Maguire and Croatia's Luka Modr England's Kieran Trippier and Croatia's Ivan Rakitic battle Deli Ali of England looks on Jordan Pickford of England kicks the ball away Ashley Young of England looks on Sim Versalco of Croatia challenges Raheem Team Sterling England's Jordan Pickford during the match Ivan Strinic of Croatia is challenged by Kieran Trippier and G Lance Harry Kane in action with Croatia's Dejan Lovren England's Raheem Sterling in action with Croatia's Sim Versalco Harry Kane of England lies on the pitch Kyle Walker of England clashes with Ivan Perisic Luka Modric of Croatia pleads Ivan Perisic celebrates the equalizer Ivan Perisic gets round Pickford Ivan Perisic gets Croatia's first Ivan Perisic celebrates his goal three lions roar from the stadium Ivan Perisic of Croatia 
scores his team's first goal Southgate contemplates the outcome Ivan Perisic of Croatia scores Croatia celebrates a goal Southgate checks the clock Southgate watches his team Pickford jumps for the ball Pickford holds out his arm Southgate applauds the team's captain Modric takes command Southgate considers his team FIFA president attends the match Dear Versalco clears the ball off the line Croatian fan looking tense Croatia celebrates going ahead England and Croatia managers pay their respects Croatia celebrate a 2-1 win going home goodbye Moscow England and Croatian fans pose in red square ahead of the match fans in the stands before the semi-final Mario Mandzukic in action with John Stones Raheem Sterling battles for the ball Kieran Trippier of England celebrates England's Jordan Pickford makes a save from Croatia's Ivan Perisic England's Kieran Trippier celebrates scoring Kieran Trippier after the first goal of the game Croatia goalkeeper Daniel Subasic dives Jordan Pickford celebrates England's Kieran Trippier celebrates scoring their first goal with Harry Kane Mario Mandzukic in action with John Stones England's Jordan Pickford in action with Croatia's Andy Rebic Daniel Subasic of Croatia makes a save on Harry Kane of England Croatia attempt to fight back Kyle Walker goes for the head Jordan Pickford of England collides with Andy Rebic of Croatia Jordan Pickford takes a stroll Daniel Subasic of Croatia makes a save on Harry Kane of England referee Q Nate Kacker talks to Kyle Walker England's Ashley Young takes a throw Kyle Walker and John Stones in action with Croatia's Domagoj Vita England's Raheem Sterling in action with Croatia's Ivan Rakitic Croatia's Ivan Rakitic in action with England's Kyle Walker Jordan Pickford of England during the 2018 FIFA World Cup Russia semi-final match between England and Croatia at Luzhniki Stadium Croatia team group Top row, left to right Dayan Lovren, Ivan Strinic, Mario Mandzukic, Antti Rebic, Daniel Subasic and Ivan Perisic. Bottom row, left to right, Marcelo Brozovic, Domagoj Vita, Ivan Rakitic, Sim Versalko and Luka Modric General view inside the stadium Ivan Rakitic of Croatia confronts referee Q Nate Herman of the Football Association Greg Clark, Prime Minister of Russia Dmitry Medvedev and FIFA President Johnny Infantino during the match Ivan Rakitic of Croatia and Luka Modric of Croatia confront referee Q Nate Kakar fans in Millennium Square, leads Salat Kodalik, head coach of Croatia looks on Croatia's Luka Modric at halftime Luka Modric concerned for Croatia Ivan Rakitic of Croatia confronts referee television monitors inside the stadium Harry Kane in action with Ivan Strinic Marcelo Brozovic heads at England's Kyle Walker sit on the floor Kyle Walker of England lies on the pitch injured Harry Kane in action with Croatia's Marcelo Brozovic and Ivan Rakitic England's Harry Maguire and Croatia's Luta Modr England's Kieran Trippier and Croatia's Ivan Rakitic battle Deli Alli of England looks on Jordan Pickford of England kicks the ball away Ashley Young of England looks on Sim Versalko of Croatia challenges Raheem Stern Sterling England's Jordan Pickford during the match Ivan Strinic of Croatia is challenged by Kieran Trippier and G Lance Harry Kane in action with Croatia's Dejan Lovren England's Raheem Sterling in action with Croatia's Sim Versalko Harry Kane of England lies on the pitch Kyle Walker of England clashes with Ivan Perisic Luka Modric of Croatia pleads Ivan Perisic celebrates the equalizer Ivan Perisic gets round Pickford Ivan Perisic gets Croatia's first Ivan Perisic celebrates his goal three lions roar from the stadium Ivan Perisic of Croatia scores his team Team's first goal Southgate contemplates the outcome Ivan Perisic of Croatia scores Croatia celebrates a goal Southgate checks the clock Southgate watches his team Pickford jumps for the ball Pickford holds out his arm Southgate applauds the team's captain Modric takes command Southgate considers his team FIFA president attends the match Dear Versalco clears the ball off the line Croatian fan looking tense Croatia celebrates going ahead England and Croatia managers pay their respects Croatia celebrate a 2-1 win going home goodbye Moscow the other defining feature of England's attack attack is their sheer speed, and after Trippier's early opener meant Croatia pushed forward, England's attackers were afforded space to break into. The chief threat was Sterling, starting deeper than Kane but always running in behind, and he terrified the immobile centre-back pairing of Dejan Lovren, who resorted to cynical fouls, and Domagoj Vita, who never seemed comfortable on the turn. Sterling sped past Vita dangerously after six minutes, forced both Vita and Sim Versalco into crucial, last-man interventions within the next ten minutes, threatened to bundle his way towards goal shortly afterwards, and beat Lovren to a ball into the right-back zone despite giving the Liverpool centre-back a ten-yard head start. Consistently England's most dangerous player, with Kane rarely sprinting in behind, and increasingly resorting to hopeful balls for others, seemingly unable to keep pace with attacks. Pride but still not many positives for Southgate after World Cup exit Croatia didn't react well to their early concession. 
for a side blessed with ball-playing midfielders of the caliber of Modric and Ivan Rakitic. Their first-half performance was surprisingly frantic, as if Zlatko Dalek's side believed they had 5 minutes, rather than 85 minutes, to find an equalizer. They were hurried and sloppy with their distribution, and improved after the break when they became more stereotypically themselves, calming the tempo, holding onto the ball for longer periods and, most crucially, working the ball from flank to flank. The clear weakness of England's system is the lack of numbers down the wings, which meant Croatia's fullback duo of Versalco and Ivan Strinic were unmarked. With England's wing-backs pinned back by Antti Rebic and Ivan Perisic, England's three central midfielders were tasked with sliding across the pitch laterally to shut down Croatia's full-backs, while also having a responsibility to watch Modric and Rakitic. Sterling was England's best player again but Southgate could easily have moved him, EPA, this proved too much, and quick diagonal balls out wide, most frequently from Rakitic to Rosalco, caused England serious problems. This shouldn't have come as a surprise, for Salco's overlapping combined with Modric's invention was Croatia's greatest source of creativity in their quarterfinal against Russia, and while Versalco had been considered an injury doubt, England should have had a plan to reformat the side and shut him down. The closest man to Versalco was usually Ali, whose primary responsibility was Modric, and gradually he became overrun. Croatia's equalizer felt predictable, Rakitic spread the play to Versalco, in oceans of space, and he had time to steady himself and cross for Perisic, who finished in impressively acrobatic fashion. England desperately needed a left-sided player to track, or pin back, Versalco, Sterling could have played that role, as could his replacement Marcus Rashford. Instead, England continued to play two up front. A complete formation change wasn't necessary, England could have happily allowed the less threatening Strinic time on the ball, just as France had played a lopsided system and happily invited passes to Belgium's Nasser Chadli the previous evening. But playing with two up front and leaving a dangerous Croatian player unmarked cost England defensively, and offered very little going forward. In truth, neither manager attempted to influence the course of the game with tactical changes, at least until Mario Mandzukic's winner in the second half of extra time. Only one substitute, Rashford, was summoned before the end of 90 minutes. Then, it was about replacing tired legs, Dalek shutting down the game after going 2-1 up, and England throwing on Jamie Vardy, a speed merchant, when Croatia were defending deep for the first time. Southgate may well regret not reacting after the tide had turned, Reuters, this has unquestionably been a positive tournament for England, and Southgate deserves enormous credit for rejuvenating the side, embracing a positive style of football and galvanizing the entire country. But this must also be considered an enormous missed opportunity and a hugely frustrating defeat, characterized not by technical failings, physical weakness or psychological troubles, but by tactical immaturity. Croatia did nothing to change their system as the game continued, and yet England were still outmaneuvered. Follow the independent sport on Instagram here, for all of the best images, videos and stories from around the sporting world.